<laughs> we, we were so um, grateful to meet you and moved by yourself and your beautiful students that it would be lovely to know your background in ballet uh, because we know a little bit about your passion from ballet, but tell sure. us about your experience and your background. Sure. So like most dancers, I've been dancing my entire life since I was four. Um, so it's a long time. <laughs> um, I, I trained in Philadelphia at a really beautiful professional school called the Rock School. Um, it's, they produce, you know, world-class dancers. There's, um, you know, in my class, I danced with Michaela de Prince. You might know her. Oh. Um, Beck and Fisk. We were, yeah, we were all classmates for forever. Um, <laughs> um, you <can. laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I danced in Philadelphia. I traveled all around the country here dancing. I went, you know, California, Texas, Massachusetts. North Carolina, a whole bunch of states dancing up until I was about, uh, I would say 2009, 2010, maybe. Okay. So yeah, it was, it was a long time. Um, I was right on the brink of being professional, but unfortunately that was when I know, <laughs> I know it, it, it pains me a little bit to still talk about it. Um, but that we had a recession in America at that time and most companies were laying off dancers, so there was no one hiring. And then I was going to every audition, like auditioning for everything, like as I'm sure you probably have done a million auditions. Um, but yeah, I was competing against all of these established dancers who, wow. you know, I, you know, and then there were hundreds of girls in the room, and I just started to, I started to burn out a little bit, and I needed to change my life's path. So that's when I went to college, but I didn't know what to go to college for. I was like, <laughs> ballet, 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 always. Like, yeah. I was hardcore ballet. It's all I did. After school, it was ballet. Then I was going from 10 o'clock in the morning until 7 o'clock at night, and that, that was all we did. Um, so I was like, what, what am I going to do? I don't know. I never had a plan B. So I took a job teaching ballet, which I never really wanted to do in the first place. Wow. Yeah. And had you taught before? No. Mm -mm. No. No. I took this job teaching, and the first class I taught, they were about 10 years old. And I was like, I love this. I oh, love it. that's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, so then I knew what to do. So I went to school to become um, a teacher, a school teacher. So I, oh, I teach oh. nine and 10 year olds at school. And I also teach ballet ages three to 18, the whole range. So <laughs> it's pretty, pretty neat how things worked out. I never expected it, but yeah, that's so that. has this been happening for you for the last 10 years? Yeah, I've been teaching ballet for about 10 years. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's very special though, that actually you were able to continue your love of dance just in a different way. Exactly. That's, I'm so grateful for it because I, I didn't want to lose ballet completely because it's such a part of who I am. So I'm really grateful to teach it. And, you know, now I'm the assistant director at a really wonderful school. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really nice to, to keep those ballet roots still. Uh, we can see uh, when we met you and your beautiful student 